anyone's seen any of the photos I've posted, I bought these to go round the pond to stop the heron. So I don't have to worry no more. I hold the fish in line. I'm just going to put them in. So it started off as an 8, went up to a 10, in, uh, 10 millimetre hole. Fits in perfect. I will put some resin just so it doesn't move. That should do the trick. Alright, starting to have a look at the whatever you call it, spire chimney on the roof. Just to get me angle. Just gonna lay two pieces of wood there. Like that, one that way. I'm just gonna put a couple of screws right through there and then I've got my angle I can work off of for the roof. Just given the windows a door frame first coat of wood preserver the colour I want. Oh really? So many things to do. Got to build a door. At least so I can get the glass now. Get that sorted. Just went and picked up all the glass for the windows. I'm awaiting a text on um, some products I've ordered. Waiting for it to become, become in stock. So at least for now I can have a mess about with the windows. Have a go at painting some. See what design I can come up with. Up with. Oh, I've done a rough sketch of a cross I want. On a piece of paper. So I'll put that behind the glass. And then paint it. But I'm going to paint it in sections anyway. Let I'll do the cross. Well, I'll do the black outline of the cross. And let it dry. And then do other details. That's a little piece of glass, which is going to be all yellow, which sits behind the star, hopefully. And that's a rough first outline of the crosses. Just let that dry and I'll go over it again and again, build it up. The other one's done. Well, first coat. Just gone over them again. Can you see the cross starting to develop? star glass is coming on, that's two coats, I'll keep going. I'd like to make the bottom part of the spire, or whatever it is, I'm covering the bottom part in the same roofing felt. Can you see? Alright, from the last video, some helpful comments told me to put some of this roofing protection behind where I'm going to put the um, EML boarding before I render it. So thanks for that, all those who suggested it. So I'm going to staple it all on and I'll show you in a second. Alright, she's all wrapped up. Try and get me the um, old mesh tomorrow, get that put on, and then it can be rendered. Right, that's the first three pieces of glass in the oven. Has to go on 160 for 40 minutes. When it's finished, let the glass cool down before taking out, otherwise you're going to burn yourself. That's the two windows in, out the oven, and in place. Tried to do the cross like a copy of the um, Knights Templar. It's a story I find quite fascinating. Bees love, it's called the light. There seems to be a lot of bees around this time this year now. It's supposed to be on a decline, but 
I think most of them are in the garden. I'll show you from inside. I've started collecting polystyrene that was going to go in the bin. So, perfect size, nice and thick. That'll do for insulating it all. Start over there. Got another sheet out there as well. Window. That's the yellow one, obviously it's the yellow one. Um, I can't put that one in yet because I need to render the front. And after I've rendered and cut out the star, and then uh, I think it'll look alright with the when the light's on the inside, shine a few yellow. You won't see much of an effect now, I don't think. No, not really. Be at night time when the light's on the inside. Better put that somewhere safe. And that's the spire done. Got me dad to do that bit. I'll end the video here. If you want to see it go up, it'll be on the next video. Still undecided of what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to paint it, cover it in the felt. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see you all again soon.